So what's up, um, Shane number two? Well, I figured that some of the biggest challenges for me in middle school as I prepared to go to high school was working on my fundamentals, you know, developing those crucial skills that every basketball player needs to have when you're in a higher level. So like simple footwork from like right hand layups, jumping off the left foot, left hand layups, jumping off the right foot, to follow through, to know how to pass right. Those are some of the things that many players need to know to make it to the high school level. Because as I've been watching as a high school player, seeing some of the younger high school players play, they didn't have those kind of fundamental skills, which held them back from being star players or productive players in the high school level. So I really say that the um, most crucial thing about middle school is developing your fundamentals so that you can be a fundamentally sound player. Because high school, you're going to be required to have those fundamentals in order for you to be a productive player, a starter, and even a star. You need to have that kind of stuff. That's very important. Skill development is very important. As you get higher in this game of basketball, you need to be a very skilled player. So you have to have the fundamentals down pack. You have to have a jump shot. You have to have like the right footwork to get to the collegiate level, and then you need to improve on that to get to higher levels. I mean, you you got to constantly work on your game. You're never going to be at a place where you're just great at everything in basketball. There's always something that you can prove on, improve on. Like if you look at the greats, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kawhi Leonard, they're always improving their game. It's never I'm settling, I'm at a good place in my basketball career where I could just stop. You always got to work on your game, work on your strengths, work on your weaknesses, find ways that you can improve as a basketball player, whether that's with the basketball, shooting, dribbling, whether that's with your body, improving your physicality, weightlifting, working your athleticism, and that's with, the, that's with your mentality too. You gotta know how to watch film, read other players. It's just a constant game of improving yourself and working hard. So skill development is a very important thing about basketball. You always gotta work on your stuff, always learn from the greats, and if you have a trainer, if you have a coach telling you to work on something, you gotta definitely work on it to make it to the next level. Some of the things that I grew up with personally from my playing days is that I knew I had to put in extra time to be better than all my teammates and people that I wanted to compete with. Uh, I, I just know that even though I wanted to, I love playing pickup basketball, I know it was very important to work on my craft, work on my fundamentals, and uh, put in some individual times to get that extra edge because I wanted to be better than everyone around me. I wanted to be have a have an opportunity to get a way out. So um, I know hard works beat talents, especially when talent doesn't work hard. So I, I wanted to put in the extra extra time and extra energy to uh, get that right result. In college, um, Coach Chris did a phenomenal job creating a competitive environment. Um, he always one of the favorite phrase that I remember from my college days was "in and out." in or out. So um, what that means was if you had an injury or uh, wasn't feeling well, he gave you opportunity to step up. But he also knew what kind of guys that he had that he recruited that their competitive component in their body would take over and then um, they'll want to stay in there and try to fight through the adversity and, uh, to get to continue to go. I mean, things are not going to be always good all the time, but if you're able to uh, get over that kind of like over that roadblock or uh, and just just kind of weather that storm it makes you better it gives you another opportunity to go to the next level and um, that's what I really did appreciate from my teammates and also I think that whole environment in college prepared me for the corporate world in many ways uh, that I always got to be willing to compete on a consistent basis daily every minute every second of my opportunity at my job and also um, what it takes to win on a high level. NCAA is a corporate environment. I mean, it's a it's a money-making environment and I look at right now in my elder days, I look at it as an opportunity to uh just provide it a, in a high market, so in a high corporation market. So uh, so what I took away from my college days is that I mean, you always got to be willing and able to compete just as well on your good days and as well as your bad days. Dating me finally.